Alright, what's going on everybody? My name is Legwick and in today's video, I'm going to be looking at some Lego sets that are retiring at the end of this year. Um, I'm going to be taking a look at just a few today, the ones particularly in uh, the idea section since there's few and this is our first video attempt at doing this. And uh, the way I usually go about this, um, I don't have too much experience with Lego investing, but um, this is a new time. This is again the time where I'm looking for sets that I'm hoping to put my money in and make some decent cash after they have retired. So we're going to start with these four right here, the Medieval Blacksmith, Winnie the Pooh, Sonic the Hedgehog, and Table Football. Now I do have limited knowledge. I've only started this really um, around September of last year. So it's only been like eight, eight or nine months since uh, I really started doing this. And I haven't really sold much except just a few. Um, but the sets I've chosen have been doing pretty well on the market. I'm just hoping or with time to just keep increasing. Um, so that's enough about me. Let's get started. I'm going to start with the Medieval Blacksmith. Now, <clears throat> I've heard this set is very beautiful. Um, it's even out of stock at the Lego store here in the U.S. And my first impressions of it is that it really is beautiful. Um, let me look through the pictures. Yeah. This is a big box, so it would take up a lot of storage. But, I mean, it's really beautiful and unique. You know, Lego doesn't really do this stuff um, on a regular basis. This is more like a collector's display piece rather than a toy. But, um, yeah, as you can see in the pictures, it's, it's like a display. But it's got a decent amount of minifigures. It looks like it has a really cool build. Um, look at this. You know, the great thing about LEGO investing, <laughs> this is not what I'm going into it for, though, is if something doesn't work out, you know, you're still left with the LEGO set that... Either you can sell for like a short loss, right? Because I mean, Lego sets don't really depreciate that much, even if you pick a bad winner, a bad, um, a bad set. But you also get to build it, you know. Like let's say this thing does horrible. Like, maybe like let's say a year or two from now, when I want to sell it, it's still at the same price. I'm like, well, okay, I could either sell it for a month the same price on like Facebook Marketplace where there's no fees, or I could just build it. Because I mean, this is a beautiful set. Um, I'm gonna try not to fall in love with this one, but very nice set. I'm going to look at some information, so what I like to do is go on Brinklink, Bricklink and uh, type in the set number. I just want to see what kind of inventory they have, um, what kind of um, price is going for right now. And Bricklink is usually one of the lowest when it comes to pricing. You know, Amazon has the highest. So let's say you have a set that you bought for $30, you wait two years. On, face, on uh, Bricklink, it might be like $50, on eBay, it might be $60, and on Marketplace, on um, Amazon, it's like $70, but that's also because of the fees and stuff. So you always got to check. And also, no, not many people buy from Bricklink, but I just wanted to take a look that even with um, <clears throat> it not being currently retired, there's about 800 of them on sale. Let me, let me group them by currency. So I live in America, so this is my information. So we have 100 currently. Remember, this set is still on sale, but... As you can see, it has a little bit of uh, stock issues. I'm sure like other places like Walmart and Amazon might also have that. I mean, yeah, you can look here on Walmart. It's going for $300. That's 120 over over sticker. Yeah, even here on Amazon, there's only one left and it's $215. That is quite insane. Um, you know, I don't think the person is making that much money, but if you got it for 20% off, you can still be making some cash. While again, this set is still not retired. So we'll see. The man looks very strong. And even here, we can see that people are paying about retail price, maybe a little bit less. Look, even in January, somebody paid over by $20. Somebody even in December when it's like the biggest, the biggest thing, like, you know, um, the most important time to sell Legos, $225. Um, and a lot of these are going for crazy prices too. There's only a few. I don't think these are, I think these are anomalies. Uh, like maybe they're open or something. They have the minifigures, um, but these are crazy. Look at that, all of them. So so far so good. So this set has been released in February 2021. Uh, it doesn't like there's a retiring date yet. This is to be announced on brick sets. So something I do want to watch out since this is an expensive set and it takes up a lot of storage. I don't want to put a lot of money into this if I'm not sure that it's gonna retire this year because. Let's say it retires next year or next year or next year. You know, like you've heard about uh, something called like a treehouse that the Lego group sells. 
or the Disney cast order, keep it for multiple years. I could totally see this doing that. There's no reason why me, let's say, would retire the set if it's always out of stock and doing so well. So that's something to keep in mind, you know. Um, but yet the retailer is limited, so I'm assuming it's only at certain retailers. Like I said, there was there it was at Costco, um, not every Costco, but certain Costcos, and I think you could find this also like at Target or Walmart if they have it in stock. If it's a big if, but uh, definitely in the Lego store. So keep an eye out, and also try to see if it's 20% off. Always, always try to get it on sale because you just get even. You actually make like a profit that way instead of like a maybe like a short or smaller one, you know. All right, next up is Winnie the Pooh set 21326. It retails for how much? I think it's 100 bucks. Let's check over here. Yep, 100 bucks. Will ship in 60 days. So it looks like there's some availability issues. However, you can buy five. So, I mean, that's quite a that's quite a buy. I think 500 bucks. I know they sell it at Walmart. I think Target as well, but I know they sell it at Walmart. Uh, I like the little bees. These are unique minifigures. Very cute, very awesome. I mean, look at we got five unique minifigs. That's something to know. I'm not much of a minifig collector myself. Like I, I, literally, the minifigs are not even the most important thing to me. I, I'd rather get the build or the vehicle or whatever in a set is the like least priority. But these are very unique, and I'm not sure if they have released them or not um, before, or if they even will in the future. Very great set. It's also for kids as well. You know, even though it's a hundred bucks, it is quite expensive. But somebody could buy this for their child. Like more, more than the medieval blacksmith. That one's more. I feel like more mature. This one is based off of a kids show, or, you know, TV show. More like nostalgic. But I would be a parent who would buy this for my child. It's also a very beautiful set to display. Quite cozy too. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Very beautiful set. The interior again. So the interior is just got like a bed. It's got a little couch. You can see in honey. That is so cute. Oh, even says here poo sticks. That's cute. We need the poop. So this one isn't selling as much, and it's actually going way below retail. Um, so in October there was one that was bought here, just on Bricklink, right, for 80 bucks, which is 20% off. Then we have one for 67.74. Okay, so for this set, doesn't seem it has any stock issues um, on Amazon. You can buy it right now for a hundred bucks, and uh, you'll get it delivered to you tomorrow if you have Prime. Uh, let's look at the sales ranking here. I was quite surprised at how low, no, how high this rank is. It's not. It should be lower. You know, the lower it is, the better. It's 400 in toys and building sets. All right, next up is the Sonic the Hedgehog Green Hill Zone, Lego 21331. Um, it retails for $80 in America. Jeez, they're just taking our money. But I mean, so I think Sonic is pretty popular here in the U.S. Um, so let's check it out first. It looks like one of those stages from the game. I don't know much about Sonic. I played it like the mobile game. But, uh, this looks quite appealing, I'm not going to lie. Um, Change that face. You can climb this. No, that thing bounces up. That's pretty cool. It looks like a really fun toy to play with. Um, it looks like it's adult oriented because I saw, you know, her playing with it. But personally, I like the aesthetics, but the price is just too much for me. Um, definitely wouldn't buy it for retail price. Huh. But let's check it out. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's check out what Bricklink has to say. This is a licensed. This is a licensed. Um, this is another licensed idea set, so it could do pretty well, you know, for the enthusiasts and the fans. I'm just not sure how much demand there is. So, yeah, the demand seems minuscule. I mean, we have no sales in January and February. Granted, there's no availability issues like with the one with the blacksmith. Um, so we'll have to look at like Amazon to compare the ratings, but here, I mean, all of these are pretty much going below retail as well. If you could get it for like 20, 30% off, maybe you could make your money. Um, but yeah, with taxes and everything, it'll take some money. Hmm. Very interesting. So there's not a lot here. Of course, it's going to be more later on, but 
Very interesting. All of these have just sold for below retail. So. All right. So unfortunately, there is no other information on this set. It doesn't sell on Amazon. It looks to be a target, which could help with um, the amount of the amount of stock there will be for this set. I'm just not too quite sure about the demand. You know, so not having it on Amazon hurts. So because I, I cannot know the actual demand for it on Bricklink, it seems like it's selling below price. But again, these are just speculative figures. Um, they could mean a lot or they could mean nothing. So even if these might mean something, so you watch out, but then, you know, the price actually goes up a lot and you could sell it for a bunch of money. It is uncertain for me. I do not know. Um, yeah, that's all the information I have for this one. Our last set we're going to be looking at is the one with the shortest date. It was released November 1st of 2022, and it's supposed to retire at the end of this year in 2023. So that's a lifespan of one year and one month, which usually for Lego sets, that's a very good thing. The less time it's on the market, the more people, the more less stock there is and the more like demand there could be for the amount of stock there is. That makes sense, right? But it is the Lego table football, foosball, 21337. Oh God. So a lot of, a lot of disappointment from the community on this one. But honestly, let's, let's take a, let's take an unbiased look. Let's say, let's say the price doesn't exist. Okay. We don't know the price and uh, we just take a look at it for now. So it comes with a pretty nice looking football table and I didn't want this. What the hell? Another pretty nice football table. You have a little stand as well with a bunch of minifigures and a bunch of heads and hairs. That's funny. Um, nice looking box. Let's look at the video. Yeah. I'm sure it's pretty small. I mean, you have to put this on like a table up high to even play it. Um, let's see. I would have to watch a video on this to see if it's actually like fun to play with. Because if it's not fun, nobody's going to buy it. Unless you're a serious collector about Lego and want to buy it. And I think there's very few people who will do that. But. Okay. Let's look, let's look back at those people. They look, they look like they were having fun. Look at them. Him and his daughter, I presume. Just playing. He's kicking her ass at the game, probably. Yeah, I mean, they put this as a display piece. I mean, really, that's kind of a, I don't know. I wouldn't have it as a display piece, personally. Even the stand looks too bulky and stuff, but of course it's for storage, so. Yeah. Okay, now looking at the price for $250. Again, $250. I mean, if you're buying this for an investment at this price, I have no words to say. Um, it was heavily, heavily discounted. I think it was like 40% off some time ago, like during like Black Friday or like the holiday season. And still nobody would buy this, I don't think. It, it's crazy. So if you buy this for 250 I mean, you might as well just at least get a gift with purchase that's Granted, it gives you that much. Um, you could buy five of these, so I could literally just, you know what? That's a bag. Go to my bag. Yep. Let's let's go to view my bag. Let's go. We can check out right now. Let me delete this one. Right. We can literally buy these for five of these for thirteen hundred dollars. Thirteen hundred. <laughs> and yeah, yeah. Don't. Don't do that. I mean, this one you can't even find at any other retailers. It is a Lego Lego store exclusive, which, hey, it might be a good thing. Like I said, there will be not a lot of supply of this set. I'm just saying don't buy it at that price point, right? You could go on literally on StockX, and it'll be 100% authentic verified for you, too, to make sure there's not a scam. And you could buy it for... A hundred and two hundred dollars. I think this means sell for one fifty or ask for more. I think you could sell it for less or buy it for less. I'm not too sure, um, but let me fool by this price. It's not, it's not gonna be two hundred. It's gonna be like another forty dollars for shipping. So, 
and checking or whatever they have. So don't believe that. Don't believe StockX. I have actually bought a stock a Lego set from StockX though. So and the experience wasn't that great, but yeah. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching. We looked at these four sets right here that are retiring. Let me know which one you think that will do well. If you're investing into it, let me know which one you would put your money in. I definitely, after I turn out this video, I'm going to buy five of these um, from the Lego store, you know, for full price with 5% cash back from, you know, Lego store. And that's it. You know, I'm going to use a debit card as well. I'm not going to get any cash back from that. So. But I'm confident that this will make a lot of money. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you had a good one. And uh, I'll see you next time, yeah?